we're back. You may have noticed I've had this lab coat on for three weeks straight. Even though many of you may have told me that you fucking hate it. But we filmed three videos in one day because Christmas was coming up and I needed to have a backlog of content. So it's staying for one more week. If you guys hate it, leave a comment. Let me know. If you love it, let me know. Speaking of doctors who like to wear lab coats in their videos, we have a return appearance from one of our What The Fitness champions, Dr. Eric Berg. What the f Oh, surprising fact about drinking sodas, they'll melt your bones. Did you realize that soda can actually melt your bones? I recently did a video on this, and there are three things in soda that you need to be aware of. Number one, phosphoric acid which is an acid that can dissolve bone. Then we have the high fructose corn syrup or the sugar, which depletes vitamin D, which is related to calcium absorption. And it also depletes magnesium, which is involved in bone formation. And on top of sugar, the large amounts of caffeine will also speed up the loss of bone. Well, that was a lot of bullshit in a short period of time. Um, yes, soda contains phosphoric acid. Do you know how many other foods contain acid? A lot. Do you think that if diet soda melted your bones, that we would probably see that somewhere? Like just these amorphous blobs, like shimmying down the sidewalk because they have no bones because they all melted. That which can be asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. Uh, as far as loss of bone mineral density from drinking soda, there's really no data to suggest that. Um, you can come up with these mechanistic theories. Oh, phosphoric acid's gonna break down bone. Da, da, da. There's a long way from you drinking something to it actually melting your bones. People make the same argument about protein. They say protein causes you to leach calcium. And while protein does cause increased calcium excretion, you don't actually see loss of bone. So just this idea of, oh, if we can connect X to Y and Y to Z, then that means X equals Z. That's not how it works in human metabolism, guys. As far as like the, him talking about the huge caffeine content, what? Like the, the most intense soda in terms of regular soda is like, I think 70 milligrams of caffeine you can get in the Pepsi Max, or oh, sorry, what is it now? Pepsi, no sugar. By the way, Pepsi, you done goofed because Pepsi Max was an awesome name. What, do you just bow to the will of Coca-Cola now? Huh? Huh? Coke comes out. Coke and Coke. You go from Coke zero to zero sugar. Both of you should be ashamed of yourself for just giving in to marketing hype. Stick to your bones. And Pepsi, I could not be more disappointed in you because Pepsi Max is an awesome name. But I digress. Pepsi Max, I think, had 70 milligrams per serving. That is not a lot of caffeine. I mean, your average cup of coffee has like, depending on the coffee, like around 125 milligrams of caffeine, I think. And if you have like a pre-workout, that's like 300 milligrams of caffeine. If you're taking a good one, like Outward Nutrition pre-workout. He's making a mountain out of a molehill as usual. Is it molehill? Is that what it is or molehill? I think he's making a mountain out of a molehill and you know what? I don't need to believe this crap. I'm gonna go grab me a diet soda. I'm just gonna have a nice diet check because we don't bow to corporate greed. We support Winn-Dixie and their amazingly cheap diet soda. Take that Pepsi and Coke. Still kind of weird. Oh. Oh! I'm melting!